summer of 1987, when most of the U.S. was feeling the effects of a drought year, the North Fork of the Payette River in southwestern Idaho was releasing precious whitewater all summer. The North Fork has a worldwide reputation for some of the most challenging whitewater rapids. People boat their entire careers in preparation for the North Fork. The North Fork is a goal, a symbol of a hard, continuous run. You can find technically more difficult runs elsewhere, but you can't find another 15-mile run of continuous Class 5 water. The North Fork is a totally unique river. Only a 45-minute drive from Boise, Idaho, the North Fork weaves right beside Highway 55 and drops an average of 125 feet per mile. In some stretches, the river drops more than 200 feet per mile. The river was considered unrunnable in the mid-70s, and now you see kayakers running the river on a regular basis. During the summer of 1987, Nolan Weitzel and John Deardorff from Georgia did what was thought couldn't be done. Using open canoes, they successfully paddled the lower five miles from Houndstooth Rapid to Banks. The lengthy stretches of frothy hydraulics and reactionary waves provided some of the best open canoeing ever recorded on video. In the second part of this video, you'll see another first ascent, a complete top-to-bottom run in catarafts. Never before had any boatman in rafts taken such a risk. The long roller coaster ride over an obstacle course of sharp rocks was considered too dangerous. But due to a fantastic boat design by Chris Walker of Colorado, the catarafts completed the entire 15 miles with only a few near disasters. So sit back and take a visual trip down 15 miles of Idaho's best Class 5 water. This river has an unbelievable international reputation. I mean, anywhere you go, people know, good advanced boaters know of the North Fork of the Payette. And they know of it as one of the absolute premium advanced runs that's available. You know, I mean, if you want to call it expert runs, that I just always shy away from that run. But it really is, you know, certainly not something anybody is going to get on. But it, very advanced and expert boaters all view the Payette as being just the ultimate. Definitely gets your adrenaline flowing, definitely gets you working hard. I mean, what keeps running through my mind is that it's really hard work. All the stories I've heard, you know, the river lives up to its reputation. And this is John Deardorff. You see quite a bit of him in the first part of this video because Nolan tipped over in his canoe on the first day here and took in 12 stitches under his cheekbone. He was rushed to a local hospital and was back in the water the following day. John is a fantastic open canoeist who is always shadowed by Nolan. John proudly wears a t-shirt that says, I'm not Nolan. Let me tell you more about the North Fork. The river is dam controlled at Cascade Reservoir and is boated during the early spring and late summer. Summer boating is heaven, with water temperatures in the 70s and air temperatures soaring into the hundreds. rapids are unlike anything you've run before. They're not just one big drop, but three drops on top of each other. The length of most rapids are 100 yards, but some as long as half a mile. John enters a rapid respectfully called Juicer and receives a wet and wild welcome.
few eddies on the river and dangerous rocks are just inches away, so you better have an excellent roll. on your own when boating the North Fork. The river is definitely meanest when you're out of your boat. an exhausting first day, John and Nolan started day two here at Houndstooth Rapid. This is an extremely tough way to warm up. Notice the boat's high rocker design. These boats are specifically designed and manufactured by Nolan. Each canoe is hand built to your requirements and costs approximately $1,100. is entering juicer. Here is where you can easily notice the difference in paddling techniques. Nolan is gentle as he bounces off four foot waves and uses eddies to avoid getting water in his boat. John, on the other hand, is swamped full of water and grits his teeth for a submarine ride through a hole called a cave. Let's watch John again. This 
This is Nolan entering the last major rapid on the lower stretch called Crunch. Here comes John right behind him. John does take a nasty swim here and survives with only a few bad bruises. result of John's swim, the canoe got caught in a reversal for about 15 minutes. Rob Lesser, a perception representative who lives in Boise, helped rescue the canoe from smashing on the rocks. As we take a brief break before part two, there are a couple of things I'd like to point out about the video. As you're sitting in your living room getting the feeling that the North Fork doesn't look too tough, you should know that the water level was at 1800 CFS and many kayakers don't even boat the river below 2000 CFS because of the razor sharp rocks just inches below the surface. Another major consideration is the boater's skill levels. These rapids are class 5 with frightening class 5 swims. Also notice the tremendous support crew in the river and on the shore. The North Fork of the Payette must only be run with the utmost respect. Let's watch the excitement of four cataracts on the first top-to-bottom descent. I hope this is just that. Let's go. It seems to me that the top part got that one drop on the top, which is just, yeah, right through it. And then you've got to uh, roll in there. The second one, and then the third one is the one with the big rock. Right at center there, I think. As soon as you clear that, you want to probably stall out there. You're the one rolling the boat. I'll let you do it. Well, but it's my recollection of the rapid, right? Yeah. Is that what it's like? Yeah. And you think, and what you're saying is, you skim that left, you skim that, you skim that third. You get a stroke bar. Ultimate fun, real good time, very physically draining. I think the endurance is going to be the key. I think that uh, if we can just keep our strength, we'll be fine. Okay, what other rivers have you been running this year? Well, a river that we probably used to practice up for the North Fork of was the Tumwater Canyon over by Leavenworth, Washington. We've been running over there. Ned, Chris, and I uh, ran that top to bottom, except for the last rapid, had a real good time over there. Really exciting rapid. And then we got Chris here. Chris is the designer of these boats here. This is the first substantial rapid on the stretch. It's accurately named Steepness.
Deepness is deceiving because you can't see the quarter mile entrance or the quarter mile run out to the next eddy. Nutcracker, the name scares me. Again, we're only seeing a partial section of one of the most difficult rabbits. is portaged most often because of the critical moves upstream. If you make a mistake at the beginning of this rabbit, you may never run the North Fork again. Welcome to Disneyland. A long, frothy rapid with powerful hydraulics. If you run it correctly, it's easy. Miss an oar stroke and you're at the North Fork's mercy. Preparation for the first top to bottom descent in rafts was two years. The boatman ran the lower stretch many times to get familiar with the North Fork's power. He cautiously moved up the river, challenging rapids like Jaws 1 and screaming left turn. You can scout the rapids from the road, but until you're right down in the river, it's hard to imagine the powerful turbulence. There were a number of broken oars and thole pins on the run. The river is shallow at this water level and becomes much more difficult as the water level increases. sequence, you can notice how the cataract boat design saves the boatman from an endless hole ride. I call the raft design a rear loader. The raft enters the hole, the boat stalls, the upstream tubes are sucked back into the hole, and presto, the swift downstream current grabs hold and lunges the cataracts forward.
is Eddie, guy. What is your name? Boatmen are about halfway down the run and fatigue is setting in. Reactions are definitely slower and the worst rapid, Jacob's Ladder, is next. Very few people attempt Jacob's Ladder. The force and drop are overwhelming. The consequences of a swim could be fatal. Thank you. 
are 23 named rapids and at least a dozen more that deserve names. at Houndstooth Rapid. This is where the canoe has started. We've not seen all the rapids from the top because they're too close together and we had no way to set up camera equipment in time. What are you guys talking about here? Jacob's Ladder, where I surfed the hole for so long. Couldn't decide whether I wanted to go back down and see what down there. Oh, was that you in the ocean wave? Yeah. Wow, that was a ride. I was just got your little experience there with your raft in that one particular reversal. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh, an ocean wave what was going through your mind? How long was I there? A couple minutes? Long enough for us to take our camera down, run downstream, and get on the rock next to you. I was kind of giving you guys a chance to get down there and take pictures. That was really nice of you. I really, we really you get my good side? Yeah, they did. They both served just as well as kayak. Those were, uh, and Ned, nice self-rescue there. Was that you? Yeah, that was me. I figured out swimming. It wasn't, it wasn't exciting enough for me. That was a great self-rescue. Boy, Ned, when you came off the back of that chair there, your body was just sprawled completely. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a power, man. Power. And Jacob, wrong side of the river. <laughs> Alan with Mr. Clean. Alan there he is. I've been watching him kayakers, but I figured it was time to show him how to run Jacob's ladder the proper way, you know? Rob Lesser ran it last week. He made it look too easy, so I thought I'd better make it look easy today for the <laughs> All right, you did good. So, uh, we had fun today. Hey, we had a real good time. Today is a fun river. We missed you out there, though. Yeah, next year they'll probably be taking commercials down this trip. No, no, never. <laughs> never happened. What, what, what are your reflections on it? The toughest stuff that we had on this river was uh, from, uh, was Bouncer, uh, Bouncer because we didn't scout that stuff. And so it kind of turned out to have a little bit more kick to it. I think that uh, we ran Nutcracker, no problem. Uh, Jacob's Ladder, no problem. Well, <laughs> and, uh, that's to be expected. And Disneyland wasn't bad either. It was bigger than I thought it was going to be. But the main thing was is that you know uh, this river has some surprises, and I think uh, Bouncer was probably the most surprised. anything big enough to stop our rafts, but there wasn't a clean run through it. Just flesh is really scattered. Styling, boy, I'll tell you. Oh, North cool. Fork first run. Cool, drop, cool, drop, cool, drop. Man. Every rapid is a big cool. So the the drops are really nasty. It's not our skill level that's getting us through this river. <laughs> <laughs> it's really <laughs> You guys, you look really relaxed out there. And you it feels good once you're in it. You do it. It feels good. Even the first round of the morning, pull you off your seat and almost flip you and feel like it. I hope you don't make it look too easy. One need not be a daredevil kayaker or a wide-eyed environmentalist to love the tumbling, roaring, crashing magnificence of the North Fork of the Payette River. 
Fortunately, there are some big money investors who would rather pocket the river's power for industrial uses. The lost would be one of North America's premier whitewater stretches. Sucked away would be the river's incredible power. Gone would be the unbridled exuberance of one of Idaho's most scenic rivers. The North Fork is like an endangered species. Once it's killed by further hydro development, it would become extinct. So come to Idaho and experience some of the best white water in the world.